is uh, Adventures of uh, Barb and Christine, season two, episode uh, seven, I think. And uh, yep, if you had Barb and Christine along the Nooksack River on your bingo card, uh, you can mark out that square. Uh, what's been going on? Um, hate to say, but same as uh, same as the last few episodes. Not a whole lot. Um, I don't know. Right now, it just feels like we're just waiting for our vaccines. Yeah, so on that front, uh, good news, right? The rollout's going fairly well so far. I um, think April 15th for us, uh, all Washingtonians 16 or older will be eligible. So, you know, we're in that just general population category. Yep. No, uh, no external factors. You know, I could shed a few LBs, but whatever. Um, so hopefully we can get an appointment on the books sometime in the next couple weeks. I don't know what, uh, you know, how competitive it's going to be. Uh, seems that everyone I talk to is eager to get their shots. I know a few folks who have them. Uh, but it also feels like we're kind of one of the last states to open up uh, for, for general population vaccinations. Not by much. I mean, I think California just opened up what yesterday or or is gonna do in a day or two uh arizona's going strong uh yeah but we'll get ours hopefully in the next couple weeks or the next month or so yeah um what else is new baseball season started again yeah. hooray uh mariners won the home opener and a dramatic comeback and then kind of had a disappointing loss last night but uh we'll see what they do today so very very happy to have baseball back um, I'm sure we won't get to a game, at least until we're vaccinated, but, uh, again, hopefully that's soon. So maybe we can get to a game, uh, you know, sometime early June, late, late June, yeah. July. <laughs> um, other big news is my lens came. That's right. Yes. I got it in my little, uh, satchel here, my little sling backpack. Um, we just drove to that little Overlook Park. What is that place called? Marine something. Yeah, Park. Marine something, something. Marine no, Overview know. Bay. Look, what's yeah. that? Baywatch? I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, just playing around a little bit. Got a couple quick snaps of like a bald eagle and a robin and some other some other birds. Um, yeah, I got a lot to learn, uh, but the game starts. <laughs> game on. Um, so yeah, if we see anything interesting uh, along the way here, I'll probably pause and try and see if I can snap a shot or two. Uh, but realistically, we're just just out to stretch the legs a little bit. If a goose rave happens, it happens. <laughs> Not counting on it. Um, oh, and then uh, I did walk to work last week. Not this week, but yeah. I've, I've done it once so far. <laughs> uh, went pretty well. Um, even had a fun little chance to wave at Christine from, from the sidewalk. She's on the balcony. And... Uh, yeah, I'm sure that'll be a habit pretty quick as soon as the uh, weather stabilizes uh, in the mid 40s at the at the coldest end. <laughs> I don't want to freeze. I don't know. Um, nor do I really want to have to wear a big bulky coat or whatever to, you know, sweat in and then carry on the way back. So I'm a I'm a finicky fella, but that's me. Um, what else? We got Easter coming up uh, tomorrow. So we'll uh, probably make an emergency run to find some peeps and uh, family uh, family FaceTime around noon. That's about it. That's about it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's enjoy the walk a little bit here. See if we can spot some birds and uh, add that into the mix because I got a hankering for some bird photos. Right there. <laughs> a little chubster there singing along. What can I say? I like those medium to big sized birds. Yeah. Plus, 
us goose rhymes with moose. <laughs> Anyway, here's the uh, here's the lens, it's the uh, Fuji 70 to 300 uh, variable aperture. Blah 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 blah. I'm no camera reviewer, uh, but lets me get in uh, real close on the birds. Also got a little 1.4 times teleconverter, which just you know whoop magnifies it a little bit more. So hopefully, if you see anything cool uh, as a close up or uh, something like that, it's going to be because of the lens. Beautiful birthday gift from my beautiful wifey. Um, also, when I was checking out on the teleconverter, they had a you might want, or they look for this little, little clippy dude here um, that is, uh, what do you mind holding the camera there? Uh, allows you to get your lens capped. You know, so you can just kind of have it and forget about it, and then when you need it, it's right there. So, yeah, anyway, quality products brought to you by B&H Camera. <laughs> Sponsor, please. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, I think he's still around here, just in that tree, but... Uh, Along with a scar about halfway up. Yeah. Um, not it. Elusive woodpecker. Okay, all right, well, bummer. Oh, darn. That bird totally eluded us. I know. Here we go. Oh, you win this round, woodpecker. We're going. We're leaving now. Totally not. <laughs> I've, I've given up 100%. <laughs> My camera's off. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know woodpeckers can detect sarcasm? <laughs> Alright, well, we know where to come. I know uh, we'll be back to Nooksack um, probably quite regularly. We've certainly already been here regularly. Yeah. Alright, well, that was, I want to call it a mixed success. Um, heard a woodpecker, I didn't see one. You caught a glimpse of the redhead. Mm -hmm. So, we know it's there. Yeah. Um, I certainly heard it. Yeah. So, we'll be back. I um, think we need to get our, <laughs> need to get some Easter stuff, peeps, maybe some chocolate, yeah. definitely some chocolate, and, uh, and then maybe some more birds tomorrow, who knows? So, we'll catch you uh, whenever something interesting happens again. <laughs> hey there, it's day two. <laughs> uh, got some good birds yesterday, I think. Uh, posted them, got some good reception online. You know, internet friends are usually helpful and <laughs> friendly. Um, yeah, it turned out pretty good. There's a few pictures up on the screen now. Uh, one of the things I want to add is some good video of the birds too. So, got a couple of video clips um, that I can kind of talk over here. Yeah, need to figure out how to get the video image to look as uh, bright and uh, colorful as the stills. Uh, but that'll take a little a little fiddling around and playing, but that's part of the fun of the hobby, right? Uh, anywho, we're, what are we doing? We're walking along Cordata uh, Parkway. Yeah. Um, gonna head up to the, where it bends. I'm hoping we can get a uh, nice picture of uh, Mount Baker, although it looks <laughs> pretty cloudy over there right now. Yeah. Uh, who knows? But uh, I'm also hoping that there might be a bird uh, on the way back. A couple weeks ago there was a, not entirely sure what it was, might have been a heron. I'm pretty sure it was a heron. Um, it was big. It was bluish. Yeah. I'm going to say great blue heron. Who knows? Uh, but I was only able to capture it on the GoPro from a good distance away. So more of a pixelated bird shape kind of blobbing around. <laughs> uh, so yeah, got the Fuji, got the zoom, ready to uh, zoom in on a bird. So we'll see what we can see. I'm sure at the very least there'll be a, a seagull or a pigeon or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hey, it's a bird. Uh, yeah, and then we'll just get some get some minutes in. Happy Easter, by the way. Happy Easter. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
That's really about it. Mariners beat the Giants again last night. Woo, series win. Take that, Giants fans. <laughs> um, they're off today, and then 159 games, games to go. I love baseball. I think we're doing family FaceTime at noon and uh, just enjoy the day. Got some, got some relaxing to do. I'm getting pretty good at that. Um, anything? Uh, uh, not really. Yeah, it's kind of cold. I yeah. think it's uh, low, mid 40s. It says it's 45. 45, okay, mid 40s. Uh, I decided to go with a sweatshirt, and, and my hands are cold still, so I'm um, uh, either you're a... I'm uh, regretting not having you, a sweatshirt. You're a tough little, tough little lumber over there, or uh, really should have brought a sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah, the second one. I think I need to get another sweatshirt for her birthday. Maybe. <laughs> uh, anywho, let's see if we can see some birds or something while we're out here enjoying the, uh, enjoying the stroll. I think Christine's trying to warm up a little bit. <laughs> Well, this is where Cordata Parkway ends. Um, all about their new solar homes. <laughs> Insert joke about Seattle rain here. Uh, don't know what's happening here on all this open space, whether they're intending to build some more homes after things get rolling again or... Well, because there's a lot happening over there, mm -hmm. and I think some of this is going to be preserved space because there's a... Okay, that'd be cool. Um, creek and stuff. Yeah, a little wetlands yeah. mixed, whatever. It is pretty close to the bay and then the Salish Sea. Um, yeah, I like this uh, I like this little stretch. It's yeah. pretty quiet. It's nice. It's new. Mm -hmm. um, and it, when it's, it's straight. not cloudy, you can see Mount Baker. Yeah, if the... Um, obviously, I would be on the other side of the street here, but um, when the clouds aren't clouding, um, there's a nice straight shot of Mount Baker here. So at some point I want to take the, uh, take the lens and the wifey and uh, try and get a kind of a shot where she's standing at the end of the road. I'm a, uh, I don't know, 50 yards back or whatever, zoom all the way in and see if we can't make the mountain look like it's looming large, larger than it looks to the eye. You know, that kind of focal length compression thing. Now that I have a, lens that has a stands a chance of doing it uh what is this street called uh klein, klein. west klein west klein road uh yeah pretty cool it runs uh, about about a mile yeah down the other way and uh yeah, nice spot well not a lot of birds out today uh did see a little little songbird singing a familiar tune and uh crow eating something. <laughs> like he was eating like conch or something. That's not good. <laughs> like, not enough uh, white powdery substances in his diet. Yep. Okay, well, if anyone sees a dead crow on <laughs> Klein Road, uh, don't say we didn't try to warn him. Yeah. Anyway, not, uh, yeah, not a lot going on, but nice little 45 minute walk or whatever we're doing here. And, and then an enjoyable Sunday. So, looking forward to catching up with the fam. Uh, final thoughts? Uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Not really. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, me either, really. But uh, vaccinations again in about, hopefully, sometime in the next month. And uh, then we can start getting serious about, you know, living life again, not just work and hide at home and walk around photographing crows. <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, more if we see a bird. But, once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Catch you on the flippity. Bye.